In this video, you'll learn three different methods that you can do to change your password so you can get back into your website and get up and running quickly. So if you're ready, let's dive in. The first way you can do it is if you're already logged in, say your hosting provider gave you your password and they logged you in already, but you want to change this, you can easily do that by first going to your dashboard, head on down to users, your profile, You'll want to scroll down to find account management. And from here, you can say generate password. Now, what this will do is it will automatically generate a password that is a strong password for you. You don't have to use that. You can put in your new password and you'll see as you're going along and writing out the password, it'll go from weak to medium to strong. Your goal is to get a strong password if you can. That simply keeps it harder for hackers to access your website. And then once you scroll down and click update profile, then your new password is updated. Okay, so that's great. But the second method is what if you're not logged in and you've forgotten your password and you can't log in? Well, let me log out of here and I'll show you how we can do that. So I'm logged out of my website. You can go to your admin area to log in and say you've forgotten it and you're getting the error message. What you can do is instead of trying to fill it out all the way down at the bottom, click on lost your password and what it will do is ask for your username or your email address. So you just fill it in and ask for get new password. And what you'll do is you'll get an email like this where you can click on it to reset your password. Again, it'll go through the process of trying to give you a strong password and you can fill that out however you need and then click reset. Once it's reset, then you can log in with the new password that you have. Now, the final way is a little bit more advanced, but it's for people who don't have access to that email in their profile anymore, so they won't be getting reset email. So what you can do is log into your hosting provider. You can change it in the PHP My Admin area. Every hosting provider looks a little bit different, but your ultimate goal is you're looking for PHP My Admin, and we'll click on that, and it'll direct you to your admin dashboard, PHP My Admin dashboard. Find the database that is associated with your website, when you click on here, then you can scroll down and we're looking for users. This is the one we want. I'm going to click on that. And then we want to edit the user that we're working on. From here, we're looking for the user pass field. So you can just highlight this area and fill in the new password that you want. And then once you do that, you also want to click on the drop down here. And we're looking for MD5. What that will do is once we click go, it will encrypt our password so it's not shown in plain text. So let's go ahead and click go. And now you see it's encrypted again, but it now has our new password. So now we can log in. Now, if you see multiple databases over here, like I do, then you can find the correct website that you're working on by going to your options table and then making sure that you find the right website for you but most people will only have one that you're working on, so you won't see all of this. And those are the three simple methods for changing out your password. Let us know in the comments which method worked best for you. And if you wanna know about more useful tips on how to work in WordPress, then go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.